Now, having understood the concept and the conditions relating to the claim of depreciation, let us see what are the types of depreciation which are allowed. Now, first question that you must be coming in your mind is, what do you mean by type of depreciation? There is only one kind of depreciation which is available. I already know that the method of depreciation is SLM, straight line method, and the return down value method. Now, what is it, this types of depreciation? In the Income Tax Act, what happens is that, you know, whatever you have been doing till date, you were given the value of an asset, you were told that this is the rate of depreciation. And you calculated depreciation. Let's say there is a plant and machinery. Okay. You buy it for 1 lakh. And the rate of depreciation is say 10%. So depreciation at 10% of 10 lakh, 1 lakh will be 10,000. This is what you have been doing till now. And this is what is called normal depreciation. So normal depreciation is nothing but the depreciation computed by applying the rates given under the Income Tax Act to various categories of asset. Now what the government did was that in order to give some incentive for manufacturing sector and to increase the production and employment, they said that anyone who buys new plant and machinery will be given in addition to this 10,000 additional depreciation. So in the year when you buy it, then 10% is the normal depreciation which you in any case will get. We will also give you 20% additional depreciation. So what happens is that instead of 10,000, you get additional depreciation of 20,000 and total depreciation is 30,000. So additional depreciation is what you got because you installed new plant and machinery. I will just also cover the conditions relating to additional depreciation. This is in the case of any and every business. However, in case of undertaking engaged in the generation or generation and distribution of power, you have an option to claim asset-wise depreciation. In both these cases, depreciation is allowed on the return down value method on block of asset. But in case of an undertaking engaged in the generation or generation and distribution of power, you can also claim asset-wise depreciation. So this is the third category of types of depreciation. So three types of depreciation, one normal, which in any case you get, second additional, which is given to increase investment in the manufacturing sector. This is computed on the basis of return down value on the gloss block of assets. And the third category is asset wise depreciation, which is available only to undertakings which are engaged in the generation or generation and distribution of power. 